Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. So on my bench today is an engine that I've actually purchased, oh geez, maybe six or seven months ago and then I just kind of threw it in one of my totes and kind of forgot about it. And unfortunately, as you can see, it's an Avia Star engine. And when I say unfortunately, I say unfortunately because it is yet another extinct engine. This is the AV46 RC engine. Uh, this is one of the two sizes that used to be or used to be marketed and sold through SIG Manufacturing. Um, but this is a new in box engine, and I actually have its super big brother, the 150, uh, that I bought. Oh, I don't know, a year or two ago, and I was very impressed with that engine. Now, the thing that's interesting about these Aviastar engines is that these are Chinese-made engines, but they're not your typical Sanye type of engine. These are actually, at least the 150 is an extremely, extremely high quality engine that I was super impressed with. And unfortunately, like I said, that company is extinct and no longer making these engines. But So I thought I'd take some time here to show you this engine. And this is one of several 40 size engines that I've got, or actually one of several two-stroke engines, probably four or five, that I've got that I've never run before and I'm considering doing some videos um, maybe on setup of a two-stroke engine again and brake in and that type of thing. But I thought I'd go through some of the components here first. Uh, let me actually put the engine off to the side and show you what this comes with. So in here is the carb, obviously. I just took the exhaust and muffler out. But here's the instructions that came with this. Uh, pretty pretty decent little instruction sheet and the proof of the SIG portion of it is right here. Uh, Aviastar had a contract apparently with SIG to let SIG be their exclusive uh, marketing US distributor of these engines and I believe that they only did maybe the 46 and 53 if I recall correctly. I don't know that they made a 40 size engine. But here's paperwork that shows the Aviastar name and SIG on the same piece of paper here. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, please note that your new Aviastar 46, AV53, okay, maybe it was a 53 and a 46, is ABC construction. So this just tells you about the construction of the engine. Uh, ABC engine to fuel tight when turning the crankshaft to top dead center. Uh, so this just kind of tells that. Uh, the other thing that was in here that I thought was interesting is when you buy things from SIG, typically you would get some easy hinges, which is what's in here. And here's another little thing that comes from SIG, which looks like a, uh, like a quick link for your throttle. So with those things aside, let's take a little bit closer look at this engine. Let me zoom in a bit here. Like I said, this... You know, the 150 was just an extremely high quality engine. I can tell they're made in the same plant because they have the same type of uh, mounting lug design here. And uh, I'm not going to try and turn this thing over. I'm going to try and make sure it goes back down because it's it's very tight at top dead center. In fact, I think my 150 was so tight that my starter had a hard time even turning it over. I mean, the casting quality is probably not as nice as an OS but as far as operation I was quite impressed with the 150 now this exhaust is is kind of interesting because it's got this little angle area but this section of it here kind of looks like uh, some Super Tiger exhaust that I've seen or exhaust from other companies I'm not sure uh, but it's kind of like a big fat big fatty type of thing but it's got this angled angle out area there instead of being straight um, but uh, you know these I was pretty impressed with these engines that 150 I had anyway I guess they made like a 200 too now one thing that's very characteristic of these engines is to see a throttle arm that looks like this and of course this symbol so like I said new in the box engine never seen fuel um, one of several 40 size, 40 size engines that I've got. 
uh, that have never seen fuel impact. I've got a, a Super Tiger 34, G34, a Brat 25. I don't think I would ever do anything with a Brat 25 because I've got a used Brat 25. Um, let's see what other 40 size engines. Uh, I've got a older Super Tiger S40, I think, and a Como. So I've got several of these 40 size two stroke engines on hand that are new in box. I just have to decide if I'm going to make a video series showing how to set one up. Uh, Kind of similar to what I did with the Sato uh, 91S Gold Knight engine uh, a few weeks back. Thinking about maybe doing a video series on the setup, uh, break in, subsequent tuning of the engine. I'm just trying to figure out what engine I want to use. I've got this one, I've got a Megatech 40, the Super Tiger G34. Uh, oh, the Super Tiger S40. So I got several. So if, if there's a preference or if there's an interest in me actually breaking in one of these engines and doing a setup, uh, you know, series of videos on one of these, let me know. But otherwise, um, this has just kind of been a quick look at, unfortunately, yet another extinct glow engine from the past that actually looks to be a really high quality engine. Um, like I said, unfortunately, they're just they're not around anymore. And this was. Uh, pretty hard to come by and that's why at the time I think I got it off of RC groups and I, I jumped on it because I was very rare for me in the used market to see any of these Aviastar engines whether it be the 46 or the 53 size and especially the score one that was new in box that's why I kind of grabbed on it and uh, anyway hopefully one of these engines will be the feature or the subject of some uh, upcoming videos